Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import references. First, I'm going to show you how to manually import references, especially for pattern, standards, or datasets. Go to Collect and click on New Reference and try your best to fill out the bibliography fields. You can change the reference type from pattern to standard or dataset depending on your need. And then remember to save this record. Now I'm going to show you how to direct import references using the online search mode. Remember that you can only use this feature when you know the exact reference you are looking for. Go to collect and click on online search. Then pull down the menu to look into a specific database. If you cannot find a specific database you are looking for, click on select favorites. And then on the left side, you can choose any of the databases from and you can also copy to the favorites. Then next time you're using the online search mode, you can quickly access that database. And in this example, we choose Web of Science Core Collection. Remember to click on Connect. And here you can search by author, title, keyword, etc. The purpose of using this online search mode is to pull the record directly from the database. But remember that you can only use this feature when you know the exact reference you are looking for. Now I'm going to show you how to import references from databases, including Web of Science, PubMed, and Google Scholar. If you go to the Engineering Library website, you can find these resources. Suppose you finish a search in Web of Science and interest in the three references. Click on the three references. Then click on export and note online. Here you can choose how complete the record should be. In this example, we choose author, title, source, and abstract. And then click on export. Now these three references have been imported from Web of Science. Switch back to your EndNote basic. Under the unfired group, you can find these three records. Then you can sort these three records into a specific group. Now I'm going to show you how to import records from PubMed. Suppose you are interested in the two records here. And check these two records. Then go to send to, which is located on the top right corner. Then choose the destination of Citation Manager. Click on Create File. Now this process is a little bit tricky. Switch back to your EndNote Basic. Click on Collect and Import References. Choose a file we just downloaded from PubMed and choose the import option, PubMed, parentheses, NLM, parentheses. 
if you cannot find the import option, you can click on select favorites. Once you click on the select favorites, you can find all the import options from the left side. Then you can copy to the favorites from left to the right. So next time you do not have to look into the specific import options. And then choose the destination group. In this example, we choose class demo. Click on the import. Now you can see the two references were imported into class demo group. Now I'm going to show you how to import record from Google Scholar. Click on the quotation mark. Then a pump up windows shows up. Click on the end note. And switch back to your EndNote basic account. It's the same process as we introduced. Go to collect, click on import references and choose the file we just downloaded from Google Scholar and choose the import option and no import for Google Scholar record. And then choose the destination group. In this example, we choose class demo. And then click on import to import the record from Google Scholar. Thank you for watching.